as an explosion of mobile data traffic occurring from the corresponding rise in IoT and voice technology. Consumers around the world are using voice applications for content sharing, calls, chatbots, Wi-Fi calling and HD voice. This in turn is pushing the implementation of 5G, which you can see at events such as Pyeongchang in 2018. This expected rise in mobile data traffic and the presence of newer and better technology outlets has left industries needing to adapt to keep up. I had the pleasure of receiving a personal invitation from Ericsson to attend the studio tour in Kista, Sweden, on behalf of Dev Mode Strategies. I was able to witness amazing technologies and advancements in the world of IoT, 5G and VR. For IoT, this 500 API Volvo connected car has an app to turn on a car's heater on a cold morning before you get in and drive. Or grocery and other deliveries directly to your car without you being there. Pulling that information from the car, switching on the heater, is an afternoon work of an app. So it would be great if you could deliver that to the car, where the car is, you are, right? So you sit in the office, you order a food bag, for instance, and this food bag is a partner with Volvo in this case. So you say, deliver it to my car. I'm here until four. Virtual reality is being used to improve safety and efficiency in the mining industry by removing the human element completely, since it involves high risk for people. So what you have is a mine. Booliden is one of the most advanced mining companies in the world. They're very eager to look at technology enabled there for safety. You're always going to be sort of in a risk zone when you're in a, in a mine. Forests are disappearing. It's vital to improve our ecosystem. And we can monitor a variety of biological conditions in trees and plants by using sensors placed in soil. A forest saved in Malaysia, mangrove forest. Uh, they are disappearing. So as we plant them, we put sensors in the soil and the data is sent over mobile networks. You can see the data comes in every half hour as there's connected mangroves there. That's the actual data from the forest in Malaysia. Ericsson provides communication for rescue organizations so that they can help save lives in the event of a natural disaster. So you want to apply temporary communication services at an earthquake to provide connectivity or communication services for the rescuing organization. Data centers where digital information is being stored are being reimagined and redesigned with robotics, removing humans altogether. What if we have data centers that do not have people? Well, we can build them as high as we want. We can build them in any shape we want. We can lower them in the ocean if we want. Even big data is being applied in our sports to measure heart rate and movement. And combined with analytics, you can see an entire spectrum of information about an athlete and even determine if a player is getting sick before they feel those effects. This platform has analytics on top of it as well, inside. So if I take different data from different Excel sheets and put that in analytics, I'll get a clear picture of what's going on for this player. Technologies like these cases from Ericsson will result in 30 billion IoT devices being connected by 2023. To support this growth in IoT connected devices, 5G is going to help provide sustainability for connected devices all over the world and improve 4K and 8K video streaming, augmented and virtual reality gaming, and industry applications in automotive, healthcare, manufacturing, energy, and utilities. Thank you for joining me. I'm Ronald van Loon and this is the Intelligent World. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share.